Hunter was one of 16 shark attack victims last summer in the Carolinas. A lefty, he has had to adjust to life without his dominant arm, and he hasn't been in the ocean since the attack. Nice to see you again. Good to see you too. This is my friend Hunter that I was telling you all about. What's nice up, to meet Hunter? you. Good to meet Hunter, you. This is, today is a pretty big deal. Uh, we're going to test out Craig's barrier for the first time. It's also really special because Hunter's here. And I know personally how rewarding it was to get back into the water after the shark attack. And I, I think it might help him. So this is called the shark safe barrier. And... Today we're gonna to run an experiment, put a bunch of fish heads in the water inside the barrier to try and motivate these sharks to go through. And so you guys are gonna be in this cage if you want to, and you're gonna be making these observations and letting me know if it's really working or not. Uh -huh. These are about eight to nine foot bull sharks, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. I've never done this, so this is revolutionary. That's reassuring. So <laughs> when I met Hunter, it, it kinda of hit home a little bit. When you see the human element, it just puts a little bit of urgency on this whole matter. Ready to go, Craig. Ready to do some science? Yep. Yeah. It's been just six months since Hunter lost his arm, and he's about to swim in a cage just inches away from bull sharks, the same species that attacked him. We have some clear water now. Let's get started. All right, bud. All right. The topside crew lowers a bait box of barracuda, and the sharks arrive in force. Three sharks! Oh, three sharks! Yeah, this is awesome! Yeah, there comes another one! Yeah, there comes another one! Yeah, there comes another one! Yeah, After shark tries to get to the yummy barracuda bait, but not one breaks through the barrier's magnetic field. Oh, this is the best response I've ever seen in my entire life. The barrier works really well. 